what's up guys and welcome back to my channel and this channel inspired nail art set so we're gonna start out with a new fresh set of nails some of her nails are natural and some of the nails are extended and we're gonna begin to add the base color to hmm, two of the nails and I'm gonna use a white this is the white buttercream and I don't know if well some of you you know very much about my own nails and as you can see here it's a total mess but this is actually a super old video that I just didn't have time to edit yet so these nails are actually well this is from last year when I got back from um Seattle slash Redmond and then I just cut the nails down I was sick of them and I didn't have time to redo them for a while so that's why I look like this uh, for this video so uh, as you can see here I've started to add the glitter so I wanted that white base and then applying the gold glitter on top and I'm using two different gold glitters just to get a little bit extra depth to it I love mixing like fine and chunky glitters to yeah just give it a little bit more of that dimension feeling to it here I have started to build up the nails using one step and that was super mega fast and we have started to cleanse the nails and now shaping so I always do this with the glitter gels because you know if I put it on top of a nail, it's just going to be super chunky and I hate chunky, uneven nails. Uh, here I have gone back to that first white and now I am applying it actually on top of the nails instead. So as you know, this is a buttercream, so they go on super duper thin, which means that you don't have to do any sandwich technique things with it or stuff like that you just put it straight on top of the finished file nail and that's it you can probably see that this one looks maybe a little bit weird uh this white it's a little um chunky i don't know if you can say that it's because it's one of the first ones that came out it's like first 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 batch and it wasn't as perfect as it is now but i still have it and of course i'm gonna use it so that's why it maybe looks a little bit weird it's not like that now you can see that it gets a little streaky it's not like that anymore here i've gone in with uh some black started to paint some lines around the white nails using my stripey brush together with the black gel paint and here we are going to create the mouth the drooling glitter mouth no the drooling mouth glitter well anyways and i am using actually a buttercream here as well and mixing that together right now you can see here with the black gel paint so you can use either one i just use the buttercreams for nail art when i need a specific color but then i prefer actually to use the white and the black when it comes to gel paints like doing lines i think that uh, it works a little bit better for me i would say and now we are doing the drooly stuff with the gold metallic buttercream and then i realized that i kind of wanted like a 80s inspired background so i went in with the same pink and sponged it on with my messed up block brush and then i'm adding a little bit of that gold you can see here so I, I'm doing that on the next finger as well as a background. I'm just smushing it out really. I, I want it to look like you splashed paint on it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I actually added a little bit extra one step on top of that because um, when you splash on gel like that, the surface is of course not gonna be super smooth. And you know, when you're doing a design like this with lines that has to be super straight you want to have a really 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 smooth surface so I just went in with a little bit of one step I think I buffed it and then I went in with um, the black so easy peasy 
Now, this is kind of interesting. This is, I don't know what to call it. You know, the pattern on the Chanel bags? Um, well, that is what I'm, what I'm doing right now. So I'm just building it up with some white gel paint together with the swirly brush. And you pretty much just keep on doing this. So I'm not going to show you the whole process because it's going to take forever. But that is pretty much what you are doing. And then taking a little bit of that one step again because we are of course going to add those tiny little caviar beads as you can see here it makes it look you know very cute and and elegant kind of in the same way uh, i love this look by the way it it's a little bit time consuming but it's totally worth the final result because i think it looks very like chic and um exclusive and kind of you know expensive almost you know it's a gucci bag nail you know what i mean and adding some more decorations to the white and black nails um same thing here going in with my one step and then putting the decorations in there as you can see so now if you thought that the bling nail was finished uh no we're gonna add more bling to it so I'm just going in with some rose gold metallic Swarovski crystals and adding some different sizes starting with the biggest one and then, you know, going smaller and smaller. So it's kind of like it's falling down the nail. Super nice. And we are going to wrap this up with some shine, of course. I think a matte would look amazing here as well but i think you need to be careful as well you know when you have white nails and if you're adding matte um you will definitely end up with some uh color spots or discoloration so uh, be careful with that that's the thing you know i love with super shiny because it is um color resistant so you really don't get any discoloration from this it's really nice especially if you have like hairdressers or people working um, in a store handling jeans or money, stuff like that. It's really nice to know that they will always come back and look super shiny. <laughs> so here I'm just going in with my swirly brush again and making sure that I covered everything. When you are doing the shine on top of the Gucci bag nail, whatever we are going to call it, um, we need to apply this super, 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 super thin because we don't want to fill out those little um, grooves around the shapes that we made. So as you can see here, I'm just going in uh, before curing uh, with my swirly brush and I'm just pulling as much of that super shiny out of the nail as I can to make sure that we are going to be left with that nice structure. but we're also gonna get it um, shiny. Well, speak of the devil, because here we are actually applying flat mat over the nail art nails. And this is also something that I always try to convince my clients into doing because the nail art's gonna look so much prettier when you have a matte surface because then you don't get those shiny streaks uh, going through the nail art. Well. Here you have the final result. And I know this is a, an old design. I made this a year ago, but I still love this so much. I would love to do this again, actually. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, as much as I enjoyed making them. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Spread love, be supportive, and hashtag Stop the nail shaming. Love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.